Let's find the oxidation number for the manganese here in MN3O4. So we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll find the average oxidation number for the manganese, and then we'll talk about why that's a fraction. So starting out, we don't know the oxidation number for manganese. That's a transition metal. You can have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. Oxygen, that's almost always going to be negative too, except in compounds like peroxides or when it's bonded to fluorine. Here it's bonded to the manganese, so that's going to be negative 2 for each oxygen. Because this is neutral, the whole thing, the whole compound, the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to 0. So we can just set up an equation. We could say x, actually 3x, minus 2 times the 4, all of that equals 0. So we have 3x minus 8 equals 0. Let's move this. Then we'll add 8 to both sides. 3x equals 8. Divide both sides by 3. And we end up with x equals 8 thirds. So the oxidation number on each manganese, that's going to be a positive 8 thirds. This is going to be the average oxidation number, though. And this is kind of strange. How can we have a fractional oxidation number? Here's why that happens. MN3O4, it's actually a compound made up of MnO and Mn2O3, manganese 2 oxide and manganese 3 oxide. And that's why we end up with this average oxidation state, because it's not just really one compound, it's these two compounds bonded together. So for Mn3O4, things like Fe3O4 or Pb, 304, we will have a fractional oxidation state when we do the average. But that's because they're composed of these compounds here. This is Dr. B looking at the oxidation number for manganese in MN304. Thanks for watching.